Hello and welcome, this is Mr. Erling, and this is uh, my series of the Technical Bees mods server play I'm using the Resident Rise uh, pack on the AT launcher and today I'm going to continue with uh, my learning experience on the Applied Energistics mod and getting uh, more use out of that and basically exchanging it from when I had uh, logistics pipes not that I don't like logistics pipes, but it was uh, turning out to be a serious laggy thing. Also, next I'm going to get into setting up storage buses for all my Java barrels. And then the end of the episode, we are going to uh, hook up my forestry fermenter and biogas to the new logistics system to supply it with uh, saplings the maho saplings and apples and fertilizer so stay tuned i want to try making one of these uh which will be turned into a storage bus something that i don't have yet fuzzy storage bus basically emmy storage bus um, like so. I guess I'm interested to see how it works with uh, the applied ed energistic stuff. Um, first of all, what I'm going to do is just take down one of these barrels just for temporary doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to put it down here next to this thing and try this out. So the storage bus will go against this thing. Um, don't really know how to configure it. Huh and it shows the mulch as being part of the system now which is kind of cool okay i want to do a little experiment to see if the factorization barrels work the same way as uh, these ones so basalt cobblestone and there's two pieces and chuck that in there and do I see basalt cobblestone I do not so the factorization barrels don't work this way that's good to know okay I wanted to put the remote order feature back into my logistics system or AE system now it's called Psy <laughs> well I'll put this here and that has nothing to connect to and so that's the remote order pipe followed by the pr a provider pipe and uh, right here in this block um, I'm going to put a um, ME interface so let's go get that from is it this one clicking on something ME interface I'm short of glass let's do this here and I put my order in here and this goes here and now that's powered up and that connects through and yeah that's pretty much all I need to do so the other thing is to put the remote order down right click it with that and now I can see what's on my logistics network and if I want this stack of cobblestone or whatever this is, rhyolite. I can go like that and it'll show up in my bag here. Cool! 
my old feature is back again. I love it. Okay, I have myself a few uh, ME storage buses that I just made. And I'm going to pop these on the back here of these barrels. And with these two, they're going to go here and here. Um, boy, this is not easy to reach. Um, make the priority say like 10. I set up here a line going all the way from the ME controller up to the next level there. That way uh, it connects up here. I did remove a little bit of the of the wire here so that I could change things around a little bit. Um, hope I don't break these by doing something stupid. Uh, I'm just gonna go like this, pop them off. Uh, the second level here will have uh, I should probably configure these first. So I have my line of uh, of ME storage buses like that. Uh, I'm going to put everything farm related on this top layer. So uh, how will I go about this? So maybe we'll start with the apples. Put it there. And then we configure this one. Oh, I see. That's bizarre and hit this. Now it's apples. Um, same thing for this one. Oops. And configure it with open hand. And that's wood now. Uh, for this I need to have the wire go up like that. Um, this one's in the way. What else? Farm material. So the Maho saplings. Okay, I finished setting this up. Uh, all the storage buses are set to uh, plus 10 priority and with the specific item in there. And if we look on the on the system itself it should show the maho saplings, apples and the wood, the mulch yay so I kinda plan to have another row of these down below but um, I need to uh, get enough of those those buses set up like that. So if you kind of back here you can kind of see what's in them. You can't really see the numbers. There's enough space to walk by it here still. And we can go through here. And this is where all the buses are going to be attached. So that should work fine. I decided now that my thumbcraft research is done that I'd clean up this corner which is kind of an eyesore because I kind of want the space for IC2 machines when I get around to it. Um, unfortunately this chunk here, let's see the borders uh, well this chunk is not so bad but this chunk here is very heavily taxed by um, whatever's down below, probably the boilers maybe it's all the forestry, fermenter stuff, let's just have a quick look yeah there's a lot of things going on on this side so um, I don't want to add too many things to this chunk anymore I'm going to try to reconnect some of my forestry machines, I was a rather alarmed that I forgot that I'm not 
providing any sort of power which I'm gonna have to deal with uh, shortly um, jetpack time okay so we have this coming down first of all I want to supply apples to this and uh, I guess you could kind of sort the input um, by using these that's a interesting idea um, Let's go here and then put this here. So the ME interface. Um, so this is going to export these and it. Hmm. Oh, okay. I came back with a little bit of pipe here. Uh, so what I need for this is this interface is going to export. Uh, these and these and as you can see oh this chest can't open maybe I don't even need the chest I'm overthinking this maybe let's see what happens if I break this so nothing came out of that let's uh, put this up to here this will go down put a servo into it and I need a servo in both of these just so that I can sort what goes in wonder why apples don't show up it's probably because I have all the apples on me um, if I send these back, I bet they will go back into the system. And they're showing up here. Cool. Into this one is going to go the, the Maho saplings. Uh, 30. I guess whitelist the Maho saplings. On this one here, I'm gonna put uh, apples as whitelist. Um, just double checking, and this one will turn on. All right. That's pretty cool. Apples are being squeezed and the mulch is getting removed. In my uh, ME system, I put a bunch of Aptate sand, which makes fertilizer. And uh, so I got 447 fertilizer right now. Uh, that's used for the farms, not only. and. Uh, it's going to be used for this thing too, so I have to export uh, fertilizer there. And uh, so then the thing here, uh, <laughs> I need that. Come on. This thing here will also accept fertilizer. So let's see. Looks like it's out of power. Or it's out of apples, one or the other. Um, maybe somebody else would know what the problem is 
with what I'm trying to do here. Um, trying to get the saplings in here, but there's also fertilizer, which I have stored up here. Um, this one has the whitelist to have fertilizer added, but um, doesn't seem to add any. Uh, the apples are getting in here okay. Um, but there's still more apples in there. The problem is this pipe's getting stuffed. As you see, it's only taking the saplings and then stuffing the pipe so that it can't go anywhere else. Why it doesn't like send the stuffed items first instead of like removing more items from the actual machine I have no idea so unfortunately um, that doesn't seem to work very well but I do have another idea okay I'm gonna make several golem animation cores oh I actually used up all of what I need ordo a uh, quick little recharge later and I got what I need for that um, so I need to have a supply golem working for me okay I'm gonna make a core for filling uh, the fill animation core which takes uh, apples which give the veins symbol uh, one more and chest which gives uh, the vacuous symbol and the animation core there we go uh, I could probably do another one right away um, one more of these one two three four five core Thank you. Okay, it's time to make the the golems that I want. So, uh, let's see, I, for some reason, whatever, chose clay golem. You know, I have other ones. I'm just wondering what the flesh golem is worth. Very fast. Only can care for. I need eight spiritus. These only need four. Yeah, those require a lot too. Um, Talos are somewhat average speed, but they require a little bit more as well. Uh, let's just do the clay golem for now. So four, 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 four and then the block so right now I have nothing in there one two three four Humanus one two three four and these are two so one two I'm using bees Oh, and then I'm supposed to throw the brick in there. Don't wait too long. <laughs> There's the clay golem. I'm just going to make one more. Uh, that one. One, two, three, four. And one, two. And. Alright. <laughs> sure is a big mess. I forgot one thing. If you're working with golems, you're going to need the golem answers bell. So I'll make this now, which is like that. A little bit of ordo and ding. It goes. Let's put the core in. Oh cool. 
So I want you to bring uh, fertilizer and I want you to bring Amaho saplings. Yeah, I figured out how to set up these golems, so I'm just gonna uh, select it again. Um, so when you have the golem in your hand, you right click the inventory that you want to interact with, and then you uh, open up the golem inventory and select what you want to be put in that inventory. For this case, it's apples and then right click it with the golem answers bell this big circle tells you where uh, it's assigned and then you click uh, a different inventory and this will tell you where it can get the items from uh, same thing with this guy he's assigned to here you can get the inventories from there and they will kind of push each other around and get what they need. Uh, this guy has all that assigned already. They seem to fight over space like it's kind of silly almost. I'm just wondering if I don't need this platform. Well, here we are at the end of the episode, and uh, thank you for Mr. Little Clay Golem and other little Mr. Clay Golem. You seem to have saved my system. They seem to be getting along quite well. Um, they sometimes uh, walk over each other to get to where they have to be. Um, also, the, the textures that they carry are kind of screwed up. But it's all good, and they do work, work from the floor, even though that they're assigned to blocks, like, one up from where they are. So, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. And we're going to get into more Thumbcraft uh, for the next episode. So, thank you so much. See you later.